once the system has uh, pumped down entirely, uh, right now it is in the 6 range, uh, we can begin to uh, pump down our sample chambers, which are the small round blue discs on the top, and uh, begin processing them with the ion mill. To uh, pump down the chamber, uh, we need to press intermittently on the vacuum button, making sure that our pressure does not rise above the uh, orange indicator. So, we will proceed to do that several times. And then when we notice our pressure isn't rising as much on each of the uh, presses, we can hold it down. We do not want it to get above the orange marker there, because that's when backstreaming will occur. Or can occur. That indicator is reading the four-line pressure. Now I'm holding it down, and as you can see, the pressure is slowly going down. When we reached our desired uh, pressure, I'm going to pump it down to 50 millisor, or around there. We can uh, lower the unit down into the work chamber area. This is accomplished by hitting the airlock lower button. We'll notice a small uh, jump in our pressure, but it is uh, pumping down. And as you can see on our high back gauge, we are in the six range. After the sample chamber has been pumped down and we are in the lower position, we can start to uh, get the chamber set up for our high voltage. Uh, ion milling. So up in the right you'll see we have the selector switches, uh, one red and one white. Uh, over here we have our gun selector, we have white, red, or both. Uh, right now I have it put on white, so I'm going to turn on the gas for the white. I'm going to turn on the high voltage uh, button. Please note, keep your high voltage or your current knobs down uh, so that there's no spike in the uh, current in the system. Um, then our desired set point uh, is in. We could turn our dial here to increase our time. Hit start. The high voltage is now enabled. Now if we slowly turn up our knob, will start to strike a plasma. Now, down the sample chamber, you can see that the ion gun is, in fact, working on the sample holder. Now, as shown here, the top, or in this case, the red gun, is uh, working on the sample. Here, both guns are selected. You can see the top or red one is on, and the bottom or white one is on, both acting upon the sample in the chamber. Notice our gun voltage, gun current, and specimen current are steady. As shown by our instrument panel for the right-hand side, the uh, gun voltage, gun current, specimen current are steady, and the process time, as indicated by the little blinking light, is counting down. At any time, if we wish, we can stop it by pressing stop. Notice the currents have now gone to zero. Um, if you 
feel you need to end your uh, process at this time, you should turn off the high voltage and the gas power supply switches. Now that our system has on the left side been pumped down, I've set the gun selector to white. I turned on my gas. We're going to proceed with ion milling on the left side. Set the gun currents around one milliamp. On this side, the white gun is the top one, and you can see it emitting an ionized stream uh, in the direction of the sample holder. of the sample holder.